Today on All Outbreak, we're going to be taking a look at the Dark Hunter Nadiki. We're going to build the set, review it, and then give out a score. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Christian from All Out Brick. Welcome to another Matanui Monday. As always, the best way to tag along with us every week is to subscribe and turn on notifications. This week, we'll be building set 8622 Nadiki, which was released as a part of the 2004 Titan line of Bionicle. Nadiki originated as a Lamatoran, who then became a Toa of Air, only to defect to the Dark Hunters. Nadiki then mutated into the large insectoid being that appears in this set. We get to see him appear alongside Krekka in the movie Bionicle, Legends of Metru Nui. Taking a look at the packaging, we have a very similar appearance to the Krekka Titan set. We have the Metru Nui skyline in the far background, and Nadiki's placed on top of some rooftops in a pretty cool action pose. In the bottom left corner, we have ages 8 plus and the set number 8622, and in the bottom right, we have the name of the set along with the Metru Nui logo. The top of the box once again gives us an advertisement for Bionicle, the Legends of Metro Nui movie, and gives us some screen grabs from the film. On the side of the box, there's the same three images of the three Titan sets from 2004 that we can get. And finally, on the back of the box, we have a nice image of a Metro Nui map in the far background, and then some poses of Nadiki. It shows some arrows that indicate how he can move when he's fully built. And at the bottom, we have a preview of the combination model that you can build with all three of these 2004 Titan sets. Nadiki is our second Dark Hunter build after having built Krekka last week. Let's hop right into the build. Nineteen minutes later, here's the completed Nadiki model. Gotta say, they really executed his backstory into the model. The look is really cool. It definitely feels like this ex Lamatoran turned Toa of Air turned Dark Hunter. There's a lot of different pieces in there that translate this. There's like some Toa feet, some different arm pieces, leg pieces, and then like the silver, green, and black. That just kind of strikes me as the color combination for like a Toa or like, I'm not like a heroic set, but kind of that feel to it and so those colors just work really well to say like okay yeah i can totally see that nadiki was this ex toa and this ex matoran and turned like i guess not, i don't want to say to the dark side because different franchise but it comes off very well in his model nadiki has some pretty good articulation the arms are like the main focus for me when it comes to articulation with nadiki you can really pose him around and he's got these big claws on the end that look really cool and then his head can rotate around the only limitation with his articulation is the legs the legs can rotate laterally which is nice you can kind of spread them out or make them like a thinner pose or spread them really, really wide but they can't rotate vertically and i have a feeling this is partially because with these ball and socket joints when they're too loose, it can be hard to pose them, so they kind of just eliminated that. Like, they could have made it ball and socket, but they chose not to is what it, it feels like to me. So, it's not like a major con, because, like, I respect the fact that they potentially saw the ball and socket as a liability if you were trying to, like, pose a Diki if he was, like, pouncing down or, like, lunging forwards, which would have been nice to do. But if it was going to be a problem, yeah, I would have rather had this than that. So, just a minor con here. I wish they could have figured out a way to have him be able to move his legs vertically and laterally unfortunately we can only do laterally speaking of those legs they got a pretty cool little function in them you can flip their end armor pieces which i guess like makes up the leg that silver piece you can flip them and if you flip all four and turn the legs in it puts nadiki into his levitation mode or like his flying mode we do get to see this in one scene in bionicle legends of metro nui so it's nice that they found a way to include this little nice little play feature the way that it's done is this mechanism that i don't think we've seen so far in bionicle that could potentially be wrong but I think this is brand new where it's like this pneumatic hose or this soft axle piece that when you flip it, it's just really rigid into two different spaces. So just like with Krekka with his launcher, the arm, they have a pretty cool little thing in here. And that same mechanism is used in the claws. The claws, you can pinch in or open them back out. And it's not super powerful. Maybe I would have liked it to be a rubber band in those claws instead so you could really like grab but what it does allow you to do is when you clamp them closed, it's going to stay closed. So I guess if like you're trying to like choke out a Matoran, you can, you know, just flip it, choke out the Matoran, and it's not going to fall out. The rubber bands won't go back to their place. So again, another new mechanism here, innovation. I have to applaud innovation for Nadiki. So I can't look past that. There's also a good amount of detail. Like with the Vaki, I did complain that they were kind of bare. Nadiki almost feels like he's like an upgraded Vaki is kind of how I first saw him when I was like a little kid is I was like, oh, Nadiki's the king Vaki. Like he's the boss Vaki. 
It's kind of how I saw them. So it's nice that they put some armor pieces in different areas because with the Vaki, if you remember from that video, wasn't a fan of how they didn't include armor and they were super bare limbs, but Nadiki still suffers from this bareness syndrome. And what I mean by that is on the back of Nadiki, this thing's just straight up unfinished. I mean, his back is, there's like two black pins that stick out and what are they doing there? Like, what are we doing? There's, it's just a little bit bare in certain other areas too. Like there's a little gap in his like midsection waist. I don't know. He's kind of like this cool centaur look where it's like the upper half and then the lower half is like something else. Like kind of like if it was like Maul. Maul got his legs chopped off. And again, another franchise focus on Bionicle here. <laughs> but it would have been nice to have some of these gaps closed up and just have a more solid looking model. I mean, Krekka did a great job. He had really no gaps at all. And they could have added some more pieces to Nadiki, maybe bumped that price up $5 and, you know, made a better model because... I gotta be honest, like, when I think of Nadiki, and, like, I see the set, kind of feels like it was a made by a kid, and then they just translated into a set. I mean, I'm sorry, it just feels that way. I mean, Kreka felt like such a more innovative design, so much more fun to build, and Nadiki genuinely feels like anyone could have made this. It doesn't feel like I'm paying for anything special, other than maybe some new pieces in dark green, or, like, some old parts, and it, it kind of lacks there. And even with the eyepiece of Nadiki, I would have loved if Nadiki had an exclusive eyepiece. I mean, my opinion probably changes a little bit because that's that's some extra effort going into it. But they gave Nadiki this general green Vaki eyepiece that we've seen before in the base models of the Vaki. So why are we getting it again in this Titan set? Like, if you want to convince me to buy the Titan set, shouldn't it be like something exclusive to Nadiki other than the fact that he's like this Titan? So I think they missed the mark there, and they had a blown opportunity to bring in a new eyepiece, exclusive color, could have been the only one that glows in the dark, but no, let's just give him the standard green one. Good enough. Overall, Nadiki's a good set, cool look to him, but he's got some lacking areas. I do love his storyline character of this ex Lamatoran turned Toa of Air, turned Dark Hunter. I think that's cool, and they executed that into the model even better. So he does have a nice look. There's some good details, some new mechanisms that I think are pretty cool, like innovation again. I applaud innovation here they did it for Nadiki a little bit but there's some areas such as like the same eyepiece like not a new exclusive eyepiece and just some bareness going on throughout the model and just an overall sense of like I feel like I could have built this myself it is just what's keeping me back from saying that this is a great set I do recommend it though I just think there's other sets you could go for instead in terms of price Nadiki's basically the same cost as Krekka in use condition nowadays you're gonna find him for like $35 and in brand new sealed condition he runs for about $75 so you know when I compare him right next to the Krekka I would say go with Krekka but Nadiki again I'm not hating on the set super hard I think he's cool look to him and I think there is some good stuff there there's just a little bit too many things that are holding it back from being this awesome titan set like i think for a titan set it's on the lower end but for like a regular bionicle set yeah definitely it's still a pretty good set in terms of a score i'm gonna give nadiki a 7-3 it's just like i said there's something that's holding it back it's still good but there's just a few too many errors here that keep it from being this upper sevens or even the eight range i do recommend it i just think there's some other sets you should take care of first when it comes to bionicle if you're looking for things to get that nadiki should be more of like okay if i have some spare cash this is where i'm gonna get this is when i'm gonna get nadiki but if i'm trying to focus on just getting some bionicle limited budget and you know don't really have a whole lot at this point there's some other ones I'd rather get instead. Again, if Krekka's priced the same as Nadiki, and this could change in the future, obviously, but if Krekka's priced the same as Nadiki, give me Krekka 10 times out of 10 because there's more, just more to him. There's more actions to him, and I don't want to make this a direct comparison to Krekka because they're still another Titan set from 2004, but Nadiki's just missing a little bit too much there. So 7-3, that's your review. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to be the first to see all of our future content. Also, be sure to check us out on our website and on our Facebook and Instagram pages. Until next time, stay bricking.